Okay, so let's continue with our discussion. So earlier we had x squared plus y squared minus 6x minus 2y plus 6 is equal to 0. Okay, so this time let's uh, state the name of this type of equation. This equation is actually what we call the general form. The general form of a circle. So the first one that you have seen, the x minus 3 squared plus y minus 1 squared equals 4 is what we call the standard form of a circle or standard equation of a circle. So sometimes they call it the center radius form because you have the center and the radius directly uh, or the center and the radius can be obtained directly by just looking at the equation. Okay, so for the general form or general equation of a circle, so we came up with a technique to get the center and that is by dividing this number, the coefficient of x, by negative 2 and by the coefficient of y by negative 2. So that is how we got 3 and 1 as the center of the circle. Now, the second question is, is it possible for us to derive the radius of the circle by just or without going through or without changing this into the standard equation of a circle. So we all know that the radius is equal to 2 because the value of r squared is equal to 4. So the r is basically the square root of 4 and that is equal to 2. So let's investigate. Okay, so if you have read uh, this topic on in your book then you already know the technique okay so but the key here is to find the r squared actually the r squared can be obtained from so if we rename this as a and b remember we use a and b for the center of the circle the r squared is actually equal to the a squared plus b squared minus this number let's call it the c minus c. So the r squared can be obtained from a squared plus b squared minus the number in this equation. The constant is a number without any x and y. Let's check. So uh, r, by the way, will become the square root of a squared plus b squared minus c. Usually, or mathematically, this is plus and minus. But r is a positive number because it's a radius, so we don't need to put the minus sign. Okay, so let's check if this formula will work and, it, and the radius will become or will be equal to 2. So we said the a is 3, so that's 9. The b is 1, 1 squared is 1, minus 6, so this is 6. So r must be the square root of 9 plus 1 is 10 minus 6 is 4 and the radius is equal to 2 okay so we were able to obtain the radius of the circle which is equal to 2 so the key is we square the a the, the x of the center we square the y of the center and then we subtract the constant in the given equation and then after doing that all you have to do is to take the square root of that number and you will get the radius now you might say, oh, that's, this may be coincidence. Okay, so let's investigate more. Okay, just to prove that uh, this is actually a formula in finding the radius of the circle. Although this, this, we are not actually proving it, but we will be showing you another example that this formula will work. We already, I already know that this will work. I just want to, to show it to you that, or how to use it. Okay, let's say, I'll give another equation x plus 2 squared plus y say minus 3 squared is equal to 9 so in this equation it's very easy to identify the center it's negative 2 and positive 3 and the radius is the square root of 9 which is 3 very easy right okay now let's say I uh, I'll expand this equation so I have x squared plus 4x plus 4 plus y squared minus 6y plus 9 equal to 9 so I have x squared plus 4x plus y squared minus 6y plus 
plus 13 is equal to 9. And then I'll arrange this into x squared plus y squared plus 4x minus 6y. And then subtracting 9 on both sides, this will become plus 4 and this will become 0. So note that in the general form of a circle, we need to make the other side equal to 0. Okay, so this is now in the general form. So using the technique for the general form, to get the center, we divide by negative 2. So 4 divided by negative 2 is negative 2. And negative 6 divided by negative 2 is positive 3. So as you can see, the center is negative 2 and 3. Now, let's use a technique for finding the radius. So the radius is, you square, so this is 4, and then you square the 3, that is 9, and then you subtract the number or the constant in the general form of the equation. So minus 4. And this will become, so 4 minus 4 is 0, so it's basically square root of 9, and the square root of 9 is equal to 3. So we were able to get the radius which is equal to 3. So as you can see, the formula works. This, this is already an established formula for finding the radius. Okay, so now we are ready to make a generalization. So let's say if the equation is given as x squared plus y squared plus say ax plus by plus c is equal to 0, the center can be obtained when we divide a by negative 2 and when we divide b by negative 2. So a is the coefficient of x and b is the coefficient of y. The radius, on the other hand, will be the square root of a over negative 2 squared plus b over negative 2 squared minus the value of the c. So don't be confused with the equation. So this is basically the number, the, the center, so that is your a over negative 2 plus b over negative 2 squared minus c. So to avoid confusion, if you express this into, remember this is a and b, this can be simplified into a squared plus b squared minus c. And that's how you get the center, at uh, the radius of the circle. Okay? Okay, so just remember how to get the center and the radius. For the radius, you need to find the center before you can get the radius because the, the radius formula depends on the value of the a, which is uh, the coefficient of x divided by negative 2, and the b, which is the coefficient of y divided by negative 2. Without these numbers, there is no way that you can find the radius if the equation is given in the general form. Okay, so let's summarize. So this is the formula, or these are the formulas for the general equation of a circle or general form of a circle. But if you're given uh, an equation in standard form, that is x minus a squared plus y minus b squared equals r squared. So this is easier to, to do because the center is at AB. So this is our center AB. So AB. And then the radius is basically the value of the R. Okay? Now, let's look now at some of uh, variation of this uh, problem. Okay, so let's say suppose we have 2x squared plus 2y squared minus 8x plus 10y is equal to 6. Okay, so this time we have a coefficient of x squared and y squared. And if you go back to the general form, we only considered x squared plus y squared plus ax plus by plus c equal to 0 when we or whenever we want to apply a over negative 2 and b over negative 2 for the center. 
So this case is different only because the coefficient of x squared and y squared are not equal to 1. Okay, so we have to find a way, or is there a way? The question is, is there a way that you can change this equation in such a way that the x squared and y squared group have a coefficient of 1? Okay, I'll give you a thing time. So what can we do? Were you able to think of a way? Okay, so I hope you are thinking that we can divide everything by 2 so that we can reduce the coefficient from 2 to 1. So I can divide this by 2, by 2, by 2, by 2, and by 2. So the equation becomes x squared plus y squared minus 4x plus 5y is equal to 3. Okay, so if we look at it, it's almost the same now, or the format is almost in general form, except for one thing. And what is that? Okay, so you may be thinking, oh, this is 3 and this is 0. So this is not yet in the general form of the circle. So we can have x squared plus y squared minus 4x plus 5y and if we divide both sides by or we subtract rather by 3 then this becomes minus 3 and the right side is now equal to 0. Okay, so we obtain this by dividing this equation uh, sorry, by subtracting this equation by minus 3 or by 3. And then, so to get the center so how do we get the center? We get this number Okay, remember, to get the center, we, we divide this by negative 2, so the center will be at positive 2, so that's negative 4, divided by negative 2 is positive 2. And then for the y, it's 5 divided by negative 2. So 5 divided by negative 2 is the same as 5 over negative 2, which is negative 2.5. So I can write it in a fraction form or in decimal form. So let's just use the fraction form. So this is negative 5 over 2. Okay, so how do we get the radius? So the radius formula is a squared plus b squared minus c. So if we use the numbers, so we have 2 squared plus negative 5 over 2 squared minus the value of the c, which is negative 3. Okay, so focus on this. The formula or the, the formula that we have is minus C. Okay, so minus C, the C is negative 3. C is negative 3, so this is minus negative 3. So we have the square root of 4 plus 25 over 4, that's negative 5 squared over 2 squared minus minus 3 or minus negative 3 is plus 3. So this is the square root of 7 plus 25 over 4. And let's just add the fractions properly. So we have the square root of, so twen, uh, 7 is the same as 28. So 7 is equal to 28 over 4, remember? 28 over 4. So we have 28 over 4 plus 25 over 4 then we get the square root of 53 over 4 which is equivalent to square root of 53 over 2 so the radius is equal to the square root of 53 over 2